Hi, my name is Sarah. Um, I am a mother of three in Coventry, Connecticut, and I had my third baby back in June of 2022, so she's about seven months old. And um, this is my third baby doing cloth diapering. Um, and because I've done it three times, I feel pretty seasoned. Um, also, given the fact that I've gone ahead and continued to do it three times, <laughs> you might imagine that I don't think it's too hard. I mean, it may be a little extra work, but it's really not that bad. And I'd love to be able to encourage other moms to give it a try. So I thought it would be cool to do a little bit of a tour of my cloth diapering setup um as i grab my baby um uh, to go along with us so this is abigail you say hi abby <laughs> all right so here's my table um on the bottom i have clothes i thought to keep it really simple i would just do this for her um early you know first year or so and the clothes can fit in a small amount of space instead of having a separate dresser um, but I know some changing tables kind of have drawers built in, so that's another way to go. Um, and then below the changing pad, in that middle level, I have my diapers and a few other things. So if you're choosing to cloth diaper, you know, what I would say is, especially if it's first time, um, first time child, you know, tell people on your registry that you want cloth diapers. Um, you can obviously put specific diapers on there, um, but they might just go ahead and buy what they like. I found that people bought me pocket diapers um, in addition to my request for pre-fold diapers. The pocket diapers are on the left um, with the pocket diaper covers on the left. And then the um, pre-folds are on the right there with the red lining. That's a medium size. Um, with the covers for those on the left. So I kind of like having both types um, because you can switch it up. Um, the nice thing, especially when they're really little with the um, pocket diapers, is that you can just swap out that insert. It's a little bit less laundry, obviously, um, than the full diaper. So that can kind of save you a little bit with the laundry load. Um, I want to show you this roll here in the middle. These, this is a bamboo liner. Um, and what you do is you just pull a sheet off of that. It's kind of like a big toilet paper roll. And you stick it onto the center of the diaper before you put it on. And then when you have to deal with poops, once they get a little bit bigger and you're eating solids, it's a lot easier to dump that into the toilet. Um, however, no matter what, I would definitely say that you want to get a sprayer for your toilet, a sprayer attachment um, to be able to clean up those diapers when you've got the number two, because it is messy. So up here we have the changing table. And this is, you know, not that dissimilar from regular diaper changing table. I've got little toys while I change her. I put a diaper down in case there's any wets while we're changing. Got her diaper cream. Um, but what I do differently this time around, I've never done before. Um, in addition to having disposable wipes, which I use for poops, really messy ones, um, I also typically just use cloth wipes. You see them there, they're flannel, really soft. What's cool about those is that they can double as little spit up wipes, um, just little, you know, Kleenex, whatever, as opposed to having to use paper. So that's kind of great. Um, so I use those cloth wipes with a Perry bottle with um, some water and then just a dissolved tablet that a friend got me actually of solution, wipe solution. So you can look up, there's probably a lot of different options for that. She got me like a locally made one. I think they're in here if I want to show you. Boop. Yeah. Baby bits, they're called. So I just stick that into the peri bottle with some warm water, shake it up, and that gives you a nice gentle solution to use. Um, especially, you know, when they're really little and you're doing the, the, the breast milk or formula, Number two, clean up. 
that's helpful. But now that my baby's eating solids, I do use disposables um, just to prevent really, really messy cleanup issues. As you can imagine with the flannels, you could end up going through like five or six of those and then having to wash those in the toilet is <laughs> kind of a lot. All right, so last thing is your pail here. So this is where your dirty cloth diapers are going to go and dirty cloth wipes are going to go. Um, some people do wet pails. I just do a dry pail and I wash them every day or day and a half. It is not smelly. Um, it is not messy. They wash up really easily. I don't do anything particularly unique with my wash. I just do heavy duty setting. Um, and like I said, with, you know, number twos now that she's eating solids, I do, um, sorry, I'm swaying with the baby, so I realize the camera's swaying too. I do, um, do, you know, the rinse in the toilet and the spray in the toilet. So that's my little tour. I hope that it was informative if you are somebody who's thinking about cloth diapering for the first time. Um, again, I'm not trying to sell anyone on anything, so you can, you know, take, take it from someone who has done it three times genuinely finds it not to be a big deal and the last thing i'll share is that i do use disposable diapers for overnight um i'm hoping to switch once baby's not feeding as much at night i'm gonna switch to a cloth for that too um but because she can wet so much at night and it makes life easier to not have to change at night um i do disposables for that and that way you know it's one disposable a day instead of five, six, seven, however many it might end up being if you were doing exclusively disposables. Um, so yeah, uh, if you have comments, thoughts, questions, please drop them in the comments box and I wish you well and congratulations. Bye.